Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stauffer. Um, I just decided to have a, uh, I went to uh, Howard's Donut and I got some donuts. Um, but my main reason for going there was this one. This is the pineapple fritter. Um, normally, uh, I, I was used to buying the apple cinnamon flavored one. And then uh, last week, last weekend when I went to get the kids donuts on Saturday, the uh, the cashier, the clerk said, when I said I want two of those, she said apple or pineapple. And I said, one of each. So I ate the pineapple and I and the uh, apple one laid, laid there and nobody wanted it. So I, have a new favorite. I have, I like the pineapple fritter that they make. It's just like an old fashioned apple fritter, but with pineapple. So it smells amazing, tastes amazing. Mm, bismillah, tastes so good. And my coffee. It's just brewed coffee and milk, that's what I always have. But if you ever pass through Memphis, or if you live here and you haven't uh, tried out Howard's Donuts, or even if you're a regular there, they have a new item and it's a pineapple fritter. It's really, really good. Hmm. Delicious. It has the same glaze on the, on the outside and it has that same brown crispy crust that an apple fritter has. And then the inside is all pineapple. <laughs> it's, it's like a whole new level. I saw something else. I didn't ask the lady, but I'll ask her next time. And it, it looked the same, except it, it looked like it had blueberries in it. So. I'll be asking about it <laughs> next time. But I don't think any blueberry thing can be better than my mom's blueberry cream filled donuts. <laughs> it's like clouds eating clouds when I eat my mom's blue homemade blueberry cream filled donuts. But these are the best fritters I ever put in my mouth. Delicious. I'm, I'm busy eating. <laughs> I had, I took care of a, um, an errand this morning that I don't like to take care of, but I do it because I must. Mmm. Mmm. I couldn't stop eating that.
when I eat something sweet, I need I need that bitterness of the coffee to wash it down. What are you all planning to do this weekend? I don't know yet. But usually my plans consist of getting caffeinated and being as weird as possible. <laughs> being weird is fun. <laughs> Caffeine and weirdness. It's fully spring here in Memphis. Here in a minute, I'm going to take you all out and show you what's blooming here. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. Go to Howard Stonut. Here in Memphis, if you pass through or live here, and try the pineapple fritter, it's really, really good. You won't regret it. Now, let's see what's blooming. The hydrangeas are blooming. These were here when we moved in, but they were finished blooming for last year. So I was really excited to see them come and bloom again this year. I didn't prune them because I wanted to observe their uh, blooming habits. And the blooms are all coming out on, on new growth. Like this woody stem, it, it got a new new shoot and the new shoot is blooming. And so I don't want to make them too short. Um, maybe I'll clip off a couple inches off the ends when they're done blooming, but they're so pretty. I love hydrangeas. big hydrangea bush. Pretty. So I have this Asiatic lily here that's blooming. I love this one that has uh, ombre from like really dark uh, burgundy to to uh, ivory. I love that that lily. And then I have these dwarf pink one and a dwarf white one. And that's all that's blooming in the lilies. There are lots more with buds, but they are not blooming yet. So, uh, just wanted to let you see how they're doing. This is, this plant is blooming. I'm not sure if this is squash, pumpkin, cucumber, or what it is, but it's something related to that. And it is blooming. And these cherry tomatoes are blooming. Up here they're blooming, and then they have clumps, clusters of small tomatoes. 
I can't wait for them to turn red. And this tomato plant is um, blooming and it has uh, green tomatoes down there. I can't wait till they get ready to slice. And down here I have geraniums that are coming, that are budding, finally. I fertilized them, repotted them, and now they're finally budding again. I'm so excited, they can't wait. And that one down there too. And over here I have my strawberries getting bigger and some mints grow, I mean, not mints, uh, what are those things? Basil. Yes, I had a lot of basil in there. Only one is growing now. The other two things growing there are marigolds. Um, this is the cat crossing. They have <laughs> uh, been playing a lot with this uh, catnip. They do hang out here a lot and they love that. The beans are growing. And those peppers are growing. Yep. Beans and peppers. Anyway. Yep, in here too. I think those are eggplants. Those. Um, that cluster that's growing in there. That's another bean over there. And purple hyacinth. Those are eggplants. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you what's blooming.